Born in 1925, she grew up in the New York City suburb of Rye. Barbara was a happy child. She attended boarding school at Ashley Hall in South Carolina. Then came the love of her life. The first man she ever kissed, Barbara Mary George, in the midst of World War II, January 6, 1945, a family quickly followed, including firstborn George W. And like so many GIs, the new father went to college at Yale, a Bush family tradition. After his graduation and with a growing family, the couple set their eyes on Texas. George needed a job. His father's business connections drew him to the oil business, moved the family to Midland. In 1958, the family moved to Houston, where Mr. Bush put aside the oil business, started cultivating his other ambition, politics. So I am working with some of the leaders in our party and some on the It other started side. off small as chair of the Harris County Republican Party. However, he aimed high, running for U.S. Senate, winning the primary but facing a Texas institution. Democrat Ralph Yarbrough, Bush lost. In 1966, he was elected to Congress from the 7th District, the first Republican to represent Houston. On the campaign trail, Barbara was an asset to her husband, friendly, forthright. She won high marks from voters and the press. In 1980, he took on Ronald Reagan for the party's presidential nomination and lost, only to become Reagan's vice president. Eight years later, he won his bid for 41st president of the United States. There's a close relationship between problems with literacy and learning disabilities. As second lady, Barbara made literacy her special cause. This will be known as the day the first lady came As first lady, she furthered that work, calling a more literate America the most important issue we have. Literate human beings make all the difference in the world. In 1989, the Barbara Bush Foundation for Family Literacy was launched, advocating for the most basic of educational skills for both children and parents, the ability to read and write. Since then, Barbara has remained visible, a Mayo Clinic board member, a supporter of the Leukemia Society, the Ronald McDonald House and the Boys and Girls Club of America, all while working with her son, Neil, to continue the work of her foundation, raising over $50 million for family literacy programs. There's always something you can do, sure. whether it's mentoring a child or uh, being a big brother or a big sister. A woman who is a first lady, the mother of another president, for whom family has always come first. Barbara Bush saw history and is now part of it.